All right, hello everybody, how are you? I am Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Let's get into common pickleball injuries and how to prevent them. So if you've never heard of pickleball, then this video is not for you. Talking to all of those people who are uh, having those courts built for them, it seems to be rising in popularity. There's lots of communities out there and it is a very, great sport to play, but there are injuries that can be sustained, some that are traumatic uh, and some that are just repetitive use. So some of those injuries um, require proper equipment, like you need to have the proper shoes. Uh, you want court shoes. You don't really want running shoes or walking shoes. You want proper court shoes since you're going to be moving all around. It's not as mobile as tennis, but it is very mobile. So you want to make sure you have that proper footwear. You also want to make sure that you have eye protection. Um, very important that you have some clear goggles to go over either your glasses or just if you don't wear glasses then just to put over your eyes. Those are going to prevent two of the traumatic injuries that can happen in pickleball. One being falling which can then lead to a lot of other issues. So that's uh, on the prevention side of the traumatic. Let's talk about the more of the repetitive issues. So in pickleball, you're going to deal with shoulder strains. So that could be a number of things. Um, it could be a rotator cuff strain, so pain more in the back or down the arm. Could be a ligament strain, which you're going to feel a little bit more in the front of the shoulder or on the side. Either way, that's lots of times due from a weakness, and it's usually a weakness of the rotator cuff, actually. And while many people are staying fit uh, later into life, they tend to not perform rotator cuff exercises. So our YouTube channel, Total Performance Physical Therapy, has lots of exercises you can do for the rotator cuff. But So we won't get into that many right now, but you need to specifically strengthen the rotator cuff. Push-ups, bench press, uh, any type of movement is not going to specifically strengthen that rotator cuff. You need to really do these rotation exercises. So whether it's putting a band around your arms and just nice and easy doing some rotation movements, that's going to help loosen our, or strengthen that shoulder. Really important. You also want to pay close attention to posture. If you're dealing with the shoulder strain, these types of postures can really exacerbate it. So watch uh, the slumping, watch the rounding forward, do everything you can to position yourself in these, this type of posture where you roll your shoulders up back and you drop them down. Next type of injury is gonna be pickleball elbow and that is either an irritation on the inside or the outside of the elbow, most likely the outside. Um, simulating tennis elbow, but very sore elbows are common with pickleball because of the use of the hand. And that's something, again, that you want to do stretching and strengthening for. You want to make sure you have this good muscle balance in order to prevent these injuries. So a couple of the stretches that you can do is just take your arm, put it straight out, and then you're just going to pull your fingers backwards nice and easy. You should feel a good stretch through the arm through the elbow. You don't want to stretch to the point of pain. So just nice and easy. If this is all the further you get, great. If you can pull it all the way back, even better. You can then turn your palm and face it down and do the same thing and pull towards you. Um, and again, you want to hold that 30 seconds and do that six times. That's going to stretch the elbow. Then you can do some rotator cuff strengthening or some wrist strengthening exercises to strengthen those muscles around it. But more importantly is the stretching when it comes to that pickleball elbow, especially in the beginning stages. Um, you, won't, you don't want to ignore it. The longer you ignore it, the worse it's going to get. If you reach for the Advil bottle, you should already be calling your physical therapist. By that time, there is an inflammation going on that you want to make sure that you are doing everything you can to prevent it. Advil is not enough. Um, the next one, what do we got? Achilles tendonitis. So Achilles tendonitis is pain in the back of the Achilles tendon. So right in the back of that heel, coming up from the heel. This is from that constant shuffling, going back and forth, being on your toes. Again, this, the solution is stretching and strengthening. Am I, am I, are you catching a pattern here? You really want to make sure that you are stretched and you are strengthened. It is not enough to go out and play pickleball. 
really important that you stretch before and after. You might want to do some foam rolling, um, and you do want to have that strengthening component. But you, if you uh, are experiencing some pain in the back of that leg, the back of the heel, you can do a calf stretch where you just put your foot down and you're just going to lean this leg forward. You want to keep that heel straight uh, and you want to put that flat on the ground. Now I have heels on, obviously, it's not the best, but, and then you're just going to lean forward. Again, you want to feel a stretch going up the back of your leg, not pain. So if it's painful, you want to back off a little bit, hold that 30 seconds, and you want to do six of those. Final uh, pickleball injury is the knee pain, and that's usually on the outside or on the inside. Um, a lot of times it's more on the outside because of this irritation of the IT band. So there's some inflammation going on in that IT band that is causing it to hurt, uh, causing pain in the knee. And even if there is irritation in the IT band, it can cause pain on the inside or the outside. Going back to the theme of the video, we want to stretch and we want to strengthen. IT band is really hard to stretch. Lots of information out there that says stretch it, but also the research behind it says can't really stretch it. So you want to make sure that you foam roll that or you take a tennis ball or a golf ball and rub it along the outside to break up some of that tissue. Really, really important that you are making sure that that is becoming looser and there's not as many knots in there. And then to strengthen it, it's more of a hip exercise in order to strengthen it. So one of the things you can do is just single leg stand. That's really important because it's going to help you with balance. It's going to help you moving forward and backward. It's going to help with a lot of issues beyond pickleball. So you want to start just by standing on one leg, close your eyes, and then you can put a pillow underneath it to make it a little more challenging. So those are just some of the quick and simple ways that you can help treat yourself if you get, uh, if you're in pain after playing pickleball, if you, again, if you reach for that Advil bottle, you should already be in physical therapy. It's synonymous. It shouldn't be one. And then let's see how we play it out and then come in for a consultation. If you or someone you know is playing pickleball and, you, and you're suffering with pain, all you have to do is call our office at 215-997-9898 and we'd be happy to get you in for a free consultation. Thanks and have a good day.